there, welcome into my channel. My name is Laurel with the Curated Caravan. Ah, <sighs> so I have done it again and yesterday I filmed a whole video on a mystery box, opened the box, went through the box, and then when I was done, <laughs> I watched a little piece of it and realized that uh, I had been making cinnamon rolls that day and at some point in the middle of that video, I got a big glob of cinnamon stuck to my head. And so <laughs> through the whole video, all you would notice is this big thing of cinnamon on my head. Black. <laughs> tried just redoing the end of it and, and you know I didn't like it so so I'm just gonna redo it today and so this isn't a real unboxing I know what's in this box so it's not a mystery but it's a mystery to you and I will just say there are some good things in it it's it's a mediocre but I always say that that it's always mediocre but um it's all right it's worth $34 and I would have bought it for $34 and so that's good. Um, I, let me show you a couple things too. So my TJ Maxx has still has some things that are left over from the yellow tag sale, which was back in like August. But they still have a few things that they keep marking down and, oh, maybe I took the tags off of all of these. But anyway, these were all like $4, $2, something like that. So I just picked up yesterday a pair of House of Harlow uh, kind of shiny wide leg pants and like I said these were all super cheap I just they were the last of everything this is just an airy offline is the line from airy it's a little tennis skirt squirt um, but I thought it was cute and it was only oh it was six dollars and it was just a red tag but I don't know I think tennis skirts are kind of really popular right now it's got the shorts underneath uh, just a little House of Harlow, a little knit top for, uh, how much did I pay? $2 for this little knit light green top. Uh, a Max, no, what is it called? House of Harlow maxi dress in a hot pink with sequins. That one I paid $4 for. And it's got a couple little snags. I think I can put pull those through to the other side. And then two Caroline, what is her name? Caroline Constance? No, Caroline Costas. Con, Constas. Caroline Constas is the brand. I sold one of her dresses for over $100. So they had two of these green ones that I got for $5.50 each, a small and a medium in a green sequin. Um, so I picked up two of these. They're maxi, maxi dress, and nothing wrong with them. They're brand new with the tags attached. So I'm still picking up, you know, a little bit here and there at TJ Maxx when I can get them for, you know, super cheap. And then on to the box. Okay, so we're going to start here. The top of this box was actually the bottom of the box. And so at the bottom of the box was a pair of yellow shorts from Alice and Olivia, which is, it's a good brand. It's a high, high price brand. Um, but these were packed with a pair of black pants on top of them. So the color transferred onto these shorts. So unless I can fix that, these are just a throwaway. Um, and these, of course, they say, do not wash, do not dry. But they're, it's polyester, polyester viscose, and then polyurethane. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hand wash them because I think they'll be fine. And like I said, they're a, they're a loss as they are. So I wouldn't have bought, I 
probably wouldn't have thought that that dye would transfer to these either. Um, but so these were the black pants that were on top of them. They're Fashion Nova. So not nothing great there. Uh, a pair of black office pleated wide leg pants. Uh, so nothing high priced. Which there's a few of those in here for sure. But there's some good things too. One. Uh, here's another one that I might end up just tossing because they're just they're a pair of Zara jeans in a light green but um, they've got some some markings on them you can see that gray and they just they they seem a little worn so I'll either you know put them really cheap or I'll just donate those I'll probably just donate those I don't know that I want to even use the room because they're pretty bulky for those um, these are brand I, I haven't looked these up yet because I have not heard of Simon Miller you may have but the tag looks impressive and they wanted $47 for them at Crossroads so that tells me they must be pricey they are a pair of stretch uh, flare ribbed knit pants and I'm not sure what size that was. It just says rib in size, the tag says size six, but I don't know. Anyway, um, so I'm thinking they must be expensive for, for that, uh, for them to want that much at Crossroads. I, I have not heard of that brand before, which is why I love these boxes. Uh, this is just a free people uh, tunic or mini dress. You can see how tall, long it is with a cutout in the back in a pretty red color. I can't remember what size. It's a medium. Um, nice, nice color. So there's that. Um, so these boxes, if you are new to my channel, I got 12 of these boxes from the Crossroads Outlet, which is a store it's it's like a crossroads but they it's not a don't you can't donate anything to this crossroads um that all of their inventory is from other crossroads that have sent their uh what do they call it tax write-off stuff stuff that didn't sell they send to this crossroads and so once whenever they get backed up with too many boxes for them to handle they will do a sale and you usually get about an hour's notice that they're having the sale they are an hour from me so uh, I got there half an hour later than it started. Sometimes I've been there when the, there's been a huge line. This time I got down there, there were plenty and there was nobody even getting them. So you just don't, don't ever know. But I was, I was paranoid. I wasn't going to get any and I ended up getting 12. So we're on box six, I believe, or seven. I have a rough time keeping track. Um, so depending on how many things are in the box, I pay anywhere from 50 cents to $1.50 an item, depending on whether how bulky um, the box is. This one is a 35 pound box and I haven't counted, but it uh, looks pretty good. It looks like at least a dollar or less. Um, so depending on whether there's 34 things in here or not. Um, and I don't know what's in them. I, you, you have no idea when you go there, you don't get a open them. You don't get to shake them. You don't get to try to figure out what's in them. You just have to take what they give you. So yeah. So when you open them, it's, it could be anything. This was all, all women I'm trying to think if there's any men's. Yeah. There's a few men's jackets in here, but mostly women's clothes in this one. So this is a pair of Maeve by Anthropology. So it's a little bit of the newer brand, newer tag, um, from Maeve white pull-on pants with a jogger hem. Uh, these are a size, size large petite in white. So I'm not sure how much I'll get for those. Uh, this one was an odd one. This is a, I don't know this brand, not of this earth. You would think after reselling for as long as I have that you would know all the brands, but you, you never know all the brands. There's always new stuff coming out. 
Uh, so it says not of this earth and then it has a tag on it uh, that says pack sun and not of this earth men's teal work shirt. Then it has a guy's name on it and his phone number which is a 310 number which is a LA I used to live in Santa Monica. We had a 310 number, so not sure exactly what this tag is. Um, sometimes with the LA ones, there will be studio things, but I am going to look up the guy's name, see if he's anybody I've ever heard of. Um, but it's like a teal, a light teal, blue, turquoise, button front, yeah, button front jacket by Not of This Earth. Not of this earth. So don't know much about that one. And uh, this is a mini dress from Princess Polly. It is new with tags. Oh, good. I didn't see this last time. It's got the all the info. Mia asymmetrical mini dress brown in a size 12. I like that it's new with tags. I'm not sure exactly how it works. It's some sort of cutout mini bodycon kind of thing with a, some sort of top here that... I'm not sure how it works, but I didn't realize it was new tags, so that's good. I love new tags. This, uh, these were a disappointment because these are good pants. Well, I think they're from Cache. Cache. Um, and they're a cute pant. They're a little with the little sailor buttons, but they're missing a button. They're missing one of these buttons over here. And these aren't the kind of buttons that you could easily replace. You're you're gonna have a hard time. Um finding a replacement for that. So that's a bummer. And there's no, no tags on the inside either. So for sizing and all that, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these, if I'll even list them with a button missing. Cause that's a hard fix. But I do like the style. The style is very cute. They're a wide leg and yeah, those cute buttons. I wish, I wish the one at the here was matching and then you could put that one in there but i don't know i don't know if, if anybody's going to want to try to match that button next is a jacket from laundry shelly siegel um it's like a microfiber what micro suede i think i should call it micro suede in a plum color Personally, I detest this fabric. I don't know what it is. I mean, I think it's super soft, but I hate it. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why. And it looks cute on people, but for me, it's a no. But it's a cute little moto jacket, and it's in great condition, and it's, like I said, from laundry. Um, so it probably retails really high. And somebody, somebody's gonna love it, but it's not me. I'm so happy it's cool enough for me to wear a sweatshirt today. I love it. Uh, we've got a pair of J. Crew men's, sh no, women's shorts, size 16. So just a classic little preppy pair of shorts in a good size. So that's good. I like those. And next, another bottom of some kind. What was this? Oh, yeah, brand I never heard of. Heidi Merrick. Heidi Merrick. I'll pop up comps on all these. I'll think I'll just do the usual as I do. Uh, these must be expensive pants because they wanted $32 at Crossroads. So they are a high waisted pleated cuffed. These look vintage to me. It's not a vintage brand I've heard of, but obviously. They must be something a little bit faded in the black, not, not real deep black. So I don't, I don't have a clue, no clue about those. Uh, this is a Chico's jacket. It is a satin quilted and I think it's, re yeah, it is reversible. It's reversible on one side. It's like a chartreuse and on the other side it's navy. Um, it does still have the tags in, which, you know, when you wear it, if you want to wear it the other side out, you take out the tag. But it's a Chico size 3, which I think is a large. And it's in new, like new, like new condition. 
um, I try not to ever use, I don't ever use excellent use condition because people are so picky that I'd rather put good use condition and then when they get it and it's in excellent condition that they're happy about that rather than thinking, oh, it's gonna be just like, you know, brand new and then disappointed. So that's just, just for me, unless it's like new without tags, do I not put, I don't usually ever put excellent condition. Okay, this is Vivid Importers of New York. I don't think it's anything special. And it is just like a crochet, I don't know, open, sheer, pink, Y2K kind of crochet top. And I don't know that brand. Then we have, oh, this one is uh, James Purse. Just a classic ribbed gray tea tank, a uh, long one. That's, that's nice. I like selling James purse. Oh yeah, these are why, I don't know why they took these. LEI is the brand, which I know, I think used to be sold like at Mervyn's, right? LEI, do like Kohl's sell that now? I don't know, but a um, pair of like, do you call that a culotte? What do you call that? Call that a, I don't know, look like it hits like right maybe below the knee. Is that a capri pant? I think that's, it's, it's, it's like shorter than a capri, but longer than a Bermuda. I don't know. Uh, it is a size 16. And I know some people just love the that longer style. So that might be just what somebody is looking for. Next up is a pair of J. Crew men's pants. They're khakis in really good condition. They look like they're perfect. Size 36 by 32. Um, flat front with pockets. Uh, I wonder if these have like a certain name. They seem like they're a special kind. Reimagined. Oh, they're from Spring 21. And they do have the style number on them, so I'll be able to look those up. They're a 484 slim. Um, seems like, like almost an active wear pant to me, rather than like a dress pant. Like a hiking or something. Let's see, what are these? See, I've forgotten how all this stuff anyway, halfway, I mean from yesterday. So it's like it's a surprise to me. Urban Outfitters, that's right. There are a few Urban Outfitter pieces in here. These are a dark teal blue uh, with an elastic waist with a drawstring hem, high rise, and an extra small. Don't particularly love buying Urban Outfitters and I don't know that I would have bought those on my own, but you never know. These, oh yeah, these are silk. These are some silk shorts, same kind of color, like a teal. Really cute little cargo shorts. Those are those are really cute. Um, from Club Monaco. Club Monaco doesn't sell the easiest. Uh, retail's pretty high, but um, yeah, I'll probably have these for a while. They are a size zero. That's not also not so great, but they are silk and really pretty, really pretty color. Next up, some track pants from Adidas, right? Adidas, Adidas in small. Uh, these are really comfortable sweatpants uh, with the side stripes and they've got a colorful bottom hems with zippers and they're size small and those not sure how long those will take me to sell let's see this one I don't know oh yeah another a brand I've never heard of Etic Etic Ted Etic 
Addicted. Addicted. That's what it is. Addicted, but spelled weird. Uh, in a green, very lightweight, very kind of sheer almost, with an elastic waist, size extra small, uh, midi length with a side slit, one side slit. Don't know anything about that brand. Looks like maybe a boutique brand, I'm guessing. These, what are these? Urban Outfitters. Another pair of Urban Outfitters. These are shorts in a size large. In uh, they're women's. They're kind of thick, kind of thick material. Look like kind of like a skater short to me. Uh, pleated and maybe a larger set. Yeah, they're large. I already said that. That and I haven't been counting as we're going. I'll do that later. Uh, okay, these I've never heard of. Open Edit is the brand. There's the tag. I don't know what that brand is. This is a skirt in a size 14. A midi length uh, front slit. Nice for working in an office. I'm guessing what you would wear that for. Open Edit. Don't, don't know that one. These... Yeah, these are different. These are real different. These are a BDG brand, which is uh, Nordstrom's, right? Uh, size 25, so they are small. But they've got a button front, a very funky print. Uh, they've got a straight leg and a high rise with some patch pockets. They're kind of funky. I think they're maybe funky enough that they might sell. I'm, that's what I'm hoping, at least. They've got a really wide hem at the bottom. They're very funky and retro. Another pair of shorts. The brand is Lise. Don't know. It looks vaguely familiar to me, but they're a pair of white shorts, cute pockets, high rise. Um, got a little bit of discolor on the back. I might, I probably should wash those and see if that comes out just a little bit back there. Uh, least say don't know don't know what to expect for those <clears throat> uh, these are some pleather uh, is it a skirt it's pants pleather pants from Wilfred which is an Aritzia brand in a size 2 they're brown pleather uh, I wish they weren't so tiny. And uh, they, these don't sell the quickest for me. Got quite a few pleather pants out there. Uh, this is a Nike hoodie. Lightweight. Kind of branches, kind of pattern with a neon yellow. It's a small, um, nice piece of outerwear though. That's that's a nice, nice jacket. For somebody. What else do we have? Oh, this was the one that I'm tempted to keep. This is a Free People Beach. I love the color. It's like this rusty orange. It's a real kind of nubby knit. Um, a size small. Size small. Um, hmm. So I might keep it. Might keep it depending on how much I can get for it. I might just keep it anyway. That's cute. Going into fall, it's perfect. A pair of sweatshorts. Love a sweatshirt. These are from Philanthropy. 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 Is that how you say it? Philanthropy. Yeah. Uh, there's the tag. And they're new with tags in a small, a black distressed uh, sweatshorts. Super cute and comfy. Um, okay, what is this? Oh, it's a Pendleton blazer, women's blazer. Uh, like a suit blazer. Uh, it's all wool, 100% wool. Uh, Pendleton doesn't sell very well for me unless you get like, you know, the Aztec 
patterned jackets or blankets or that kind of stuff. But in general, not the greatest seller. But it's a nice, it's a nice piece. These, what are these? Oh, these are Levi's Premium. These are cute jeans. Uh, they're in a tiny little size though. Uh, Levi's Premium. Um, what size? They look really small. Size 25, yeah, 25, 28. But they've got this cool stitching on them, on the legs. So those are very cute. Um, pretty high-waisted, um, but skinny. Don't tell me somebody rehemmed them. Yes, they did. Oh, I hate that. Yes, they've been rehemmed. They don't look bad, but they don't look like the actual real hems. You can see. Ah, oh, I hate that. But I will. I'll measure them and disclose. That's a bummer. Oh well. Next up, oh, fleece. Oh yeah, that's right. This one is nice. I think. Because uh, they wanted $85 for this at Crossroads. And let's see, some of this stuff, I don't have a clue. Neighborhood is the brand. And it is a black fleece. Um, fleece half zip with these orange. It says neighborhood back here. But it says the Tokyo neighborhood. So I'm guessing this is a very expensive fleece jacket. In an extra large so I, I think that's all all good so seemingly that would pay for my box if if it's as nice as they seem to think it is this one what was this one oh yeah j ink j period ink um a little sweater cute little bow cute sweater it's very cute actually i would wear that I would totally wear that. Um, I don't think it had materials tags, so it, it's very soft. It feels almost. Oh yeah, it did have. It has tags, but I can, can't read them. Maybe I can read them now. Uh, no. Polyamide, maybe is that the number one? Polyester, acrylic, and wool. That's what it says. Polyamide. That one's the only one that I'm kind of off on. Polyester, acrylic, and wool. Hmm. So nothing great. It's got a little bit of wool. Um, but it's a cute little sweater. And then what is this? Some pants. Pants. Who makes them? Coldwater Creek. So just a pair of basic Coldwater Creek. Coldwater Creek pull on. Back zip. Kind of sheer you can see right through them a wide leg pants and they've got um long slits at the hems so nice basic oh pick up cold water creek i think they were a bigger size too so that makes them good oh this one was a weird one this one i think is like a homemade piece because it has no branding at all no branding. It's kind of cute. Kind of cute little tribal looking sundress. And then it is tiered. And with this kind of zigzag stitching. So I'm thinking vintage handmade. That's my guess on this one. Zero tags inside. And I just think somebody got creative and, and just went crazy on this. Um... I think they did a decent job, so I think I think that one might I, I will sell it even as unbranded. And okay, what is this one? It is a white dress. Yes. Who Myko is the brand. M-I-K-O-H. I think I have another Myko dress in my inventory that is not sold. So 
Oh, that's how it goes. Okay, it goes like, I didn't get this before, but it's a maxi dress and then it like goes around your bust up here with a little tie. So you could probably do like a halter if you wanted to or tie it in the middle. This is like a cute little beach vacation dress. Yeah, that's cute. You got a nice tan and it's got side slits. Is it a little discolored though? Might have to oxy wash that because it looks like maybe areas are a little bit different whites. Okay. This is another maxi dress, another little summer vacation. Oh, it's pants. That's right. It's a little romper, striped romper with this fringy at the hem and then an open back with a tie the brand who makes it oh yeah moon river moon river i'm not sure if anthropology i think anthropology sold this brand um but it is not exclusively one of their brands i don't think so i'll have to see if i can find stock photos of that being sold somewhere <laughs> this one has no brand and I don't even know what to do with this one. It is like a sheer pink. I don't know. I think this is going to be donated for somebody that knows what to do with that little piece. I don't know. This one was from the real real. Got the real real tag. The brand is True Rock. Don't know anything about it. True Rock. Um, it's just a maxi, uh, tie-dye tank kind of dress, another little vacation piece, almost done. Uh, this is a men's sweater, don't know this brand, Suit Supply, Merino Wool, there's the brand, and it is a blue sweater crew neck and it's in pretty good condition maybe a couple little pilly areas but not bad and it's a, I think it's a wool blend from what I remember oh I'll save the best for last um this one who is this one? Oh yeah kimchi blue which is at urban outfitters it's like a moo moo kind of dress or like you know cottage cottage core um uh, Floral print, maxi dress, kind of a balloon sleeve. And yeah, so that's that. And then we got a men's uh, moto jacket. Uh, the brand is Profound Athletic. And then it's got a fringe and it's got this writing on the back and zippers and it's in really good condition it seems could use a little bit of lint rolling but besides that um looks in really good condition so i don't know someone might want to wear that and then lastly this little surprise so this is a men's so this is the second nice men's blazer that i've got in these boxes and although it's really exciting to find these brands, usually they're older brands, or they're older styles. What is that noise? So, what in the world? So they might be harder to sell. I still got my Gucci blazer. It's been listed for at least a month and it hasn't sold. This one is a linen, men's linen blazer in black from the Versace collection. So there's a tag. I think collection is not their highest end. I think if it says Gianni Versace, that's the highest la highest one. But it is 100% linen. No, 80 87% linen in a size Italian 52. Um, so you can see it's kind of like a shiny, shiny linen which might be a little harder to sell. It is a two button, two button front with a flap pocket, almost like a tuxedo jacket actually. 
um because it's got these little lines here and four button sleeves um so that's it that is the end of my box thank you if you stayed all the way through i got through that pretty quickly i think when it's not my first time i can go a little quicker so uh like i said it's an okay box um i'm sure it's worth the 34 dollars because probably that i'm thinking that fleece um which i already forgot what brand it was but i would think that fleece by itself would cover the whole box um so far i think the biggest the best selling thing that i've had in these boxes have been that roam r-o-a-m um fleece high pile fleece jacket that sold for like 80 dollars um, was so far has been the, the best thing that has come out of these but done with number six or seven whichever one it is and we'll see what we have next time around and i need to get listing these because st i'm still only on i think my third box to get that listed so thanks for joining me and uh, i will see you next time and who knows what we'll be doing maybe we'll do some more gopro-ing or maybe we'll do another box or maybe we'll do uh, what's sold. So you never know. So stick around and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.